get the car registered and yesterday it stormed real bad so I was afraid I was gonna be able to do it but no clouds in the sky trees and I finally found the bill of sale and the title I've been looking for for a while topped off all the fluids and now I'm gonna check all the tires for pressure and uh, clean the windshield because it's so full of uh, pollen that it's hard to see out of. I think that's it. And I think we can get on the road, which we need to get on the road. It's like 2.30. Well, that's extremely low. That's low too. So they're all at 25 PSI, and that's pretty low. I'm gonna put air in them. Get ready for loud. Everything's at 48 PSI. I was thinking that if it had more air in it, it won't put so much stress on all the parts, especially in the back where I broke that axle. Got insurance. Surprised. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, we tried. And we succeeded. That was easy. Now I can drive this car wherever I want. Although, driving here, the 20 minute drive that I made was very sketchy. Like, so sketchy. So loud, so freaking loud. <laughs> Those Delvern bushings, the solid bushings, they're tough. <laughs> They make everything noticeable. Dude, where are you? I can't see ya. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> supposed to be down here and that caliper is like oh. fell down yeah the default mission <laughs> it didn't fall down it tilted down it tilted down okay. so the top bolt is missing is missing <laughs> <It's missing. laughs> okay so it'll go forward but when it goes back the brake must... is catching on yeah. the rim uh, and it's okay. keeping it from going back I okay guess. gotcha well, you need a bolt, my friend. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> There's one thing I've ever been correct about. It's that. that. <laughs> ow, ow. Oh, wow. Yep. That bolt came on out of there. What the heck? Drove it up and down the street a couple of times. And nothing, no problem with it. Why is it happening today? The only day that I'm actually miles away from the house. Uh, Why is there a leaf in my shoe? Are you gonna take me to my house? Yes, we got some wire. <laughs> So we're out here at Brown Dog Garage uh, cell phone shop. Uh, actually, it's a uh, elite cell phone shop. Actually, yeah, it's still sitting over here, looking pretty and ugly at the same time. So yeah, this is Christian's uh, work. So yeah, this is where Christian works, or this is his business. And um, we're gonna fix me 30. <laughs>
bolt. So we just put the top bolt in first, and the bottom one. Then you can swing the bottom out. Well, I guess I lied, the top one's not in. There we go. That one went in perfect. <laughs> mm. I need to go inside and use Christian's computer to see what the torque settings are. That hurt. Mm. That's a good idea. <laughs> No, I didn't think about that. And yeah, after I get done with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and check all the other ones just to make sure they're all tight. All right, so it's done. Uh, definitely did not take long. Messed up my finger, but things happen, I guess. And uh, drove around this parking lot. Didn't notice any brake sounds or anything. Uh, you can see. Uh, marks. I didn't mean to make those, but this car just makes marks now. I guess you now with a welder diff. Uh, oh, I did. Um, I rigged up. I rigged up some lights for the dash because the dash lights wouldn't work. Got me a little LED light and hooked it up to the switch right here that I use for the running lights. It's not very bright. But it'll be it'll be all right for now at least, because I was having to use my phone flashlight to check my speed. That's it.